All right, we've got the uh, Jeep diesel apart. Down to the, got the timing belt exposed, trying to figure out what happened here. And uh, definitely found root cause, quite interesting. Found a couple things, so let's have a closer look. All right, got the front of the motor pulled all apart. You can see the timing belt. First thing I notice is the timing belt is completely chewed up on the leading edge. And I've got the crank marks lined up for what the previous owner or the previous person who uh, did this timing belt had marked it. And I verified this with the pin that locks the uh, flywheel in place uh, through the bell housing. So this is verified at 90 degrees uh, after top dead center, which is the service position. Uh, the intake cam lines up with his previous marks. The uh, exhaust cam does not line up and uh, I can pin the intake to the service position with the alignment pin, uh, but I cannot pin the exhaust. So this is off by one tooth and the fuel pump is off by a considerable amount. You can see the two reference marks there. He's got on the wheel, uh, the pulley and on the uh, case, the witness marks there. And you can see uh, they're <clears throat> completely off on the fuel pump. So that's definitely uh, the cause of the missing cylinder. We've got bent rockers, which we'll get into. Uh, but the root cause of this belt slippage is quite interesting. Very poor workmanship. So here's our <clears throat> harmonic balancer or crank pulley and the bolts the bolts that hold it on one of them is longer and you can see how shiny it is it was catching on the timing belt and chewing it up and caused it to jump tooth so poor quality workmanship the other thing I found on this is um, it's th the auxiliary cooling fan is missing uh, this was obviously in some type of minor front-end collision. I've got some cracked radiator support here and here, but uh, whoever repaired the job, they took the auxiliary cooling fan off. There's a connector for it, and they never replaced it. So that could be a contributing factor to the cooling system overheating, but uh, that would affect mostly um, slow speeds and not high speeds. And remember, the problem statement was that he was having overheating on the freeway, which I don't think the auxiliary cooling fan would contribute to. But uh, Gonna replace the cooling fan. Obviously, you got to tear into this further and uh, get the rocker arms all sorted out. And I'll probably just pull ahead and do everything while I'm in here. So, we'll see you next time.